Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for August 2018. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I'd like you to know that this um, may not resonate with you, okay? If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong, okay? I mean, it's really important for people to understand that not every reading is for them. Okay, some people get really offended when the reading didn't turn out, you know, the way that they their life is. The fact of the matter is, the reading may not be for you. Okay, so this is what I am picking up for somebody that is watching this. It will not be everybody's reading. I focus on love, we'll see whatever comes up. You know, it feels as though that you guys are feeling a little bit of discontent about love at this point. Maybe you're turning away from an opportunity or an opportunity is being taken away from you. You, you could be um, needing to step outside of your comfort zone. You could be going through some mental turmoil at this time. You may be trying to turn a blind eye to this discontent that somebody's not happy, whether it's you or the other person. You may not want to believe it, but it appears that somebody's not happy here, and you need to be practical, okay? You do need to be practical. You need to be wise. Um, I feel like, you know, somebody, somebody may be bringing you down, or you're dealing with somebody that is a naysayer, somebody that um, is, has negative thinking, okay? You, there could be a feeling of um, almost like being stonewalled, you know, um, no communication you could be dealing with somebody who's not communicating effectively with you you know and you're trying to figure out is this the is this the wisest situation for me to stay in if i'm not being communicated with um you may be getting out of a relationship i don't know there's def this is discontent and this is discontent both of them so there's a lot of discontent here it could be re re in revolving a fire sign aries leo sagittarius there even could be a breakup, okay? Maybe you're looking for something more. Maybe you're bored with this relationship, or they are bored with this relationship. Either way, there's some discontent here. I'm not sure what that is. Um, this is like a disengagement, okay? A disengagement. Now, there could be victory and success, though, with an earth sign. So I'm not sure what that means. Ah, so I'm not sure if you have an earth sign somewhere. For some of you, there's an earth sign that could lead to a commitment. It could lead to a beautiful union. But you have to take the blindfold off. You have to step outside of your comfort zone to have this commitment, whatever it is. Whoever this person is, they're very practical. They're very devoted. They're very motherly, stable, and secure. This person in the reverse, this king of wands, this is somebody who is conceited has a chip on their shoulder and is very negative in the reverse okay so I feel like you're in a discontent situation right now and in order to find victory and success you need to stabilize you need to get grounded she's very grounded so come back down to reality here now there could be a third party situation it doesn't mean that there is but there could be but there's definitely if you see this fire sign and this could be anybody with fire in their chart you know this could be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, moon, uh, moon, Rising, Sun, Venus, whatever. This is a love reading. This fire sign, there's a lack of togetherness. There's a lack of compromise. There's a lack of um, communication, like I said. You're dealing with somebody in your life that is not open to communicating effectively with you, and it's causing a lot of discontent. And it hurts. It hurts. I feel like... Perhaps you have your mind on leaving this situation or you have this notion that, you know, there's another person involved, whether, whether it's you that, that is thinking about another person or the person you're with is thinking about another person. But there's some observation going on here where there's another person in the mix. There is another person in the mix. Perhaps somebody's been watching you or you've been watching them. 
but it feels there's a stalker energy here and stalkers you know sometimes they're not I can't say that they're always bad so maybe it's just an interest somebody has an interest in you or you have an interest in somebody else because there's so much discontent here whatever this is this is um, somebody's being untrustworthy here and they're not telling the whole truth about how they really feel whatever that is uh oh we have an air sign here Libra Gemini Aquarius that in, but this could be anybody taking on any of these energies so you really could be dealing with any energy but there's an air energy here and it's thoughts negative thoughts and when you get the king of swords in reverse somebody's not making the right judgment call they're not doing the right thing they're not acting with integrity and they're not being honest okay now the king of swords in reverse can also be an element of abuse like uh, blackmail um, emotional blackmail coldness uncaring unkind um, I feel like you're dealing with a situation that is has brought a lot of worry and discontent and sadness into your life because you're dealing with somebody who who's basically stonewalled is the correct word you know they're like cold as cold as ice you know frozen you know, and, and you can't get through to them. And it's like, oh, my God, I'm, I don't think I can stay in this situation if if we can't communicate. So I think that, you know, other people see that there's there's disengagement here. Other people see that there's discontent. They see that there's there's unhappiness. They see it. Other people outside in your circle can see that there's unhappiness. Okay, they can. Your challenge is accepting love. You know, stepping outside of your comfort zone, taking the blindfold off, accepting this truth, and being wise and being practical. That's your challenge. Your challenge is finding what you're compatible with. And I think right now you're dealing with a situation, and I'm not sure, somebody's hurting you from finding this compatibility. This Somebody is hurting you from finding this true compatibility. Let me get this focused in. So I think that you have to make a choice. Now, twos are decisions. They're choices. There are choices about partnership. Now, you got to make a choice between two people. That's what I think. Between two paths. Between two options. Do you want to stay in this discontent, tense situation with, I don't know, fire sign? Could be a fire sign. Could be any sign. Or do you want to find victory and success with somebody that's stable and secure? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Um... Oh my God, see there's the decision and the choice again. A choice between, I think you have two options, Cancer. Do you stay where you're at? Do you stay in denial? Again, the blindfold, the blindfold. Or do you make the choice to take that blindfold off and accept the truth, whatever this truth is. This is lies being exposed. You are dealing with some lies here. You definitely are. You're dealing with some lies. Somebody, either you're lying to yourself or somebody's lying to you. You know, I feel like somebody is definitely hurting your your relationship prospects okay this is the, this is the future this side is the future this side is, is what you're going through in the past okay so I think you have an opportunity for love here if you can take the blindfold off but you have to make the decision to really peel back that mask and not lie to yourself or let anybody lie to you accept the truth of whatever situation this is now there's indecision you guys are like delaying an outcome you're delaying your own victory and success this is the delay, and this is victory and success. But delaying it is causing anxiety, it's causing fears, it's causing worry, it's causing stress. And it feels like you are going through a, a, a period of emotional turmoil because perhaps, you know, there's been some sort of engagement and, and maybe you got to break it off. I don't know what this is. Um, but yeah, it's really heavy. This is really heavy. It's burdensome. It's overwhelming. I think you're going through some sort of um, overwhelming emotional turmoil over a decision that you have to make. And I think the decision is two paths, two choices. One is stable, one is non-communicative. <laughs> Somebody will not communicate, they will not give an inch. They, it's like it's their way or the highway. And relationships don't work like that. I mean, the king of wands in reverse is it's their way or the highway. I'm the boss and if you don't like it, tough shit. Well. 
tough shit then. Because that's not how relationships, partnerships work. And this is in regards to a partnership that is really discontent because you're dealing with somebody who's a know-it-all. You are. So, <laughs> could be a Leo. Uh, she's some crow, I'm not sure. But you need to find the strength. You need to find the courage. You need to find the force within you to take action. You need to be strong enough to face your fears and do what's right for you. You could be dealing with an Aries, Aries or a Leo, but you need to be the boss. You take the lead. You take the lead, Cancer. You dominate your own life. You take the lead in this situation. Otherwise, either one of these people are going to if you let them. But justice needs to be served. You are definitely have, this is a heavy weight and this is a heavy weight, okay? Heavy weight, heavy weight. You have to make a decision and it's weighing very heavily on your mind. What's going to bring the most structure? What's going to bring the most security? What's going to bring the most stability to your life? That's your decision. You have to choose. Now, this is a card of karma as well. One of your life lessons in this lifetime is strength. You have to find the strength to take the lead, to be the boss of your own life, and not let somebody control you. You're dealing with somebody who's trying to control by not communicating, by being bossy and conceited and whatever. The silent treatment kind of person. Somebody that is blackmail. The silent treatment is blackmail. I'm not going to talk to you if you don't do it my way. I'm going to avoid you. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is avoiding any consequences for their actions by totally ignoring the situation and it's bringing you down because you're feeling it so heavily and you're thinking about, you know, what is it? What is a commitment? What do I want? What is it? What is going to bring me the most stability and the security? It, but in order to do that, you're going to have to take the blindfold off and accept the truth and cut somebody out because this is cutting out. But that's making the decision as well. This is accepting whatever it is that you're being lying to, being lied to about, understanding it, and, and using the sword to cut, to make it final, to bring justice to your life, to bring balance back to your life. You have the sword to do that. So there's an opportunity for happiness here. But you're going to probably have to leave somebody out in the cold to get to this happiness. You know, the end of difficulty comes when you make a move. When you do the right thing and you be practical. Now, you could be dealing with a water sign as well, another water sign, but this is somebody with a victim mentality, and this is victim mentality as well. If you, play, if you allow yourself to be the victim, then hey, then you allow it. Now, this is somebody who can't master their emotions in reversed. You have to get grounded. Ungrounded, grounded. Ground yourself. Let's get real here. Not saying that. I'm just telling you what this is. There's an opportunity for somebody new. And when I see the lover's card next to the soulmate, I mean next to the two, two of cups, there's a soulmate connection here for you, Cancer. But you need to get out of your head. And you need to accept the truth of whatever this situation is that you're dealing with that has brought you so that is bringing you so much dis discontent. I think there's an opportunity for new love here. That's what the lover's card signifies to me. It's an unexpected choice in love, something that you didn't see, that you didn't think was ever going to happen, that you didn't see coming. This person is not your usual type, but it's a soulmate connection. And this is another card of decision. Do you choose to stay where you're at or do you choose to move forward with this new love connection? If you can get out of your head and get grounded, you can have a soulmate connection. And I think it is with somebody new. I don't think it's over here with this discontent situation where there's no, there's no companionship. There's no togetherness. You know, there's not. There's, there's no togetherness. There's no companionship. There's no love. It's like this person doesn't. I don't know who it is, but this person isn't giving you what you need. They're bossy, they're controlling, they're manipulating you, they're not communicating with you, and now you have an opportunity for happily ever after with someone new. I feel like there's, a, there's an instant connection with this person. Look at it. Look at it. But you have to take the blindfold off and step outside of your comfort zone. Right now you're in a safe situation, even though it's discontent. Safe, 
you got somebody and the fear that you won't find this perfect match is holding you back whatever this is you have a perfect match I don't know maybe it's a Taurus could be a Gemini did I say Taurus I meant to say Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be Libra could be Leo could be anybody but I feel as though there is an opportunity for a strong soulmate connection here, Cancer. But you're you're messing. You're in a wrong situation over here. You are. Oh my gosh! It needs to end. With endings, bring new beginnings. Cancer, you need to end something so that you can have this wonderful new beginning, renewal, rebirth. This is a release. With a death, there's a release. Release this situation in which you are being bullied almost. I mean, come on now. I mean, it's like somebody is being bullied. And you need to release it so that you can have this love. This is true love. Soulmate connection. A lot of this is mental. It is, with the Eight of Swords. It's mental turmoil, and I can see a lot of mental turmoil. But that's what, that's what these people will do. And that will hold you back for, from forever. This is an unexpected choice in love. It comes very unexpectedly. All of a sudden, there's an instant attraction that is undeniable, and you have to go with it. We don't have to. There'll be, this is a card of consequences as well. You could choose to let it go and stay in this discontent situation, or you could choose to live happily ever after with your soulmate but you're gonna have to get grounded and do the right thing first i mean that's what this is you have to be practical here yeah there's going to be a little bit of discomfort to accept the truth or whatever this is there will be a little bit of discomfort but in the end there's true love there's an ending on the horizon cancer so that you can be with the one that you're supposed to be with and that's what i see I feel like there's an opportunity, if you are already single and you've been waiting and you're not holding on to this situation, somebody's still holding on, so, you know, you have to take the blindfold off and step outside of your comfort zone. If you're single and you ain't been going out or you haven't been open to love, if you're discontent over something that didn't work out and you're still holding on to that, that fear and that, that mental turmoil, then that hinders this progress. A lot of this was mental. You need to mentally let it go and physically if you're in a happily ever after relationship you shouldn't be watching tarot readings you don't need to unless you're watching them for your job but or your finances but you already know that I don't do I don't do those readings I do love readings so I feel like right now you guys are in a situation that is very unhealthy it's bringing you down, it's bringing you backwards, and you have love, like, waiting for you. It's right there. I have to remind you, this person is not your usual type, and this person is going to help you to heal. Love heals. This person is going to be your perfect match. You will feel it instantly, and they will help you to heal from this mess. Bully. I think you were dealing with a bully. They brought you down. And this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I don't cater to cross watchers, so this is for Cancer. Got it? Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Your bond deepens. There's somebody new here that is your soulmate waiting. You know who this person is. I think you know who this person is, Cancer. I do. But it's not the one that's causing all this bullshit in your life release your ex the time has come to clear your energy that is what's happening here release them physically mentally 
so that this beautiful, true love can blossom. There's true love here. There is true love. I know there is. We're going to get you one of these. You have to release. Release your ex. Release your ex, please. Make the effort. Release release your ex, please, 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 please. Release this person that has caused you so much dis discontent, please. Because a new beginning is waiting to start with a beautiful soulmate. I think you already know this person. I think you've met them already. This this person that you the, this true love. I do. Listening. Listening. Listen to your wise self. Let your inner compass direct the course of your life. You know what you got to do. I know you do. Endings bring new beginnings. Release. It's a time of transformation. It's a time of transition. Allow it. Allow this new soulmate to help you heal and grow. Talk to you later.